if I sat here this time last year, about a third, just under a third of our traffic was coming from mobile and tablet, and that had grown from double the year before. Yes. Um, this year, um, we're set at about 45, 46% of our traffic is coming from those two devices. So it really is on a, a, a linear growth uh, pattern, um, to, which, to which point we expect it to be well in excess of 50% by the end of the year. So amazing change in, in device access to the site at the same time as we're seeing a, a phenomenal growth of traffic as well. Take it from a customer's perspective. We're a relatively low frequency retailer. People come to us um, for advice, they come to research products, they come to look and understand categories and, and understand what they should be purchasing, either to get a home delivery or to go into store. And if they're doing that at home on a desktop, and then on the way to the store on a tablet or at home on a tablet or then in the store and around the store on a mobile. Important for us that they get the same information, that they see the same promotions, that they see the same design and look and feel on the mobile site as they got on the desktop site and get consistency of information throughout and responsive design gave us that. We clearly, and I don't know about other retailers so much, but we clearly see a different behaviour pattern between mobile and tablet, um, and so have changed the design slightly uh, and market accordingly. Let me explain what I mean by that. Mobile is very much out and about. It's people out on the street, on the bus, on the train, in the car, wherever, and they are doing mobile things. So looking for store locators, mm. um, making reservations. Nearly twice as many reservations come from mobile devices as do from uh, desktop devices. Because they're on the way, reserving the product, looking to get there and, and, and find it when they get there. Um, and it, accessing the website more directly into product pages. In other words, they've done their research, now they know what they're looking for and are going in. The way we attribute value to marketing is not necessarily any more on uh, advertise, click, purchase, convert, and therefore profit. It's actually longer term now, which is about how do I attribute value for researching, and then how do I uh, attribute value to offline purchase back to online search. We've done a lot of work around that and so have, uh, attribute, have changed quite considerably our marketing mix as a result. We have done a lot of work on our websites around making them multi-channel and understanding a multi-channel experience, but increasingly now we'll look at the finer end, the user experience end, the checkout end of, of, of the funnel, if yes. you like, and puts a lot more effort in our web development around that. Um, and that will be different um, for mobile, for tablet and for desktop. Um, but I think we, we still stick with the same principle, which is design mobile first. If that's where the most number of customers are going to end up seeing us, which it will be by, well, by the end of this year.